Nicodemus and Nicodemus can't have any <laughs> till later. Guys, after the really long finale tonight. <laughs> oh, the extra long finale. The extra long finale. And I don't worry, Nicodemus. Look, it's a four beer finale tonight. <laughs> Nicodemus. Oh, guys, oh. I just... It's not my fault that, you know, I like being able to make my entire living doing this. Mm. You've got a point there, but no, you I want you to know that's right. We have to have day jobs to support our house. That's thinking, right. I was thinking of you. I got you a bird's beer. <laughs> <laughs> it still has beer in it. There you go. I don't know, little fella. <laughs> I was the wrong this contract. close to being appreciative of this gesture, and then you rubbed my head and called me little fella. Oh my god, you look like Alfalfa now. <laughs> you look like some sort of crazy... Hold on, we can have fun with this. <laughs> look, I don't have a whole lot left up there. Don't, don't pull out what little I have left. I'm just giving time... The actors here make me want to do that enough. <laughs> That's right, I told you, he's management. I just want to point out... That? That? While you, you think your job is hard, he has to hurt cats. While you complain that the actors are making you lose your hair, a great part of the gray that is now in my beard was because of you and your cast. <laughs> That's good because the yellows in your mustache is from all the cigarettes. Oh god, yes. Oh god, yes. This is all nicotine stain. Yeah. yeah, this is a nicotine stain. This, this is, is a nicotine, nicotine stain. Yes. I smoke because I'm suicidal, but I'm procrastinator. <laughs> You gotta admit his sticking power, though, you know? See, come right in and sit down. We'll wait. <laughs> yeah, we can really. show you. Oh, you can start us. the show over. Fact, we we haven't even to. started the show. Oh, all right. But we can still repeat what we've just done. For those of you, have any of you ever witnessed one of the Men of Confidence shows before? No, put your hands down. You're waving to people. You're just confusing me. <laughs> <laughs> Who? No. And how, raise your hand if you've seen a Men of Confidence show before. Wow, they, That's so not the rest of you have no, no idea what's going on. Good. First thing you need to know is, something you need to understand is, a couple of weeks ago, we actually managed to fill an entire 45 minute slot without ever once doing a single part of our show. <laughs> and the audience, we gave them the opportunity to vote. And they, and they voted, voted for just... carry on the way you were going. <laughs> so don't think we were torturing them at all. Oh, we were torturing them. But they liked it's it. Just, we had a very yeah. masochistic yeah. audience Trust that day. <laughs> yes, we were like, we dominated them. Please, Dr. John, give me another. <laughs> no, spank Wait. me, Dr. John. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you can do that There's to rock me over there. Look at the poor Ooh, man there. He can't even John. drink. <laughs> Look at that. What? Look at that. He's so close and yet so far away. <laughs> I'm so glad they make mobile stocks now. Yeah. Is there anything that hasn't gotten a mobile version of it? <laughs> oh yes, the new eye stocks. <laughs> I love I love the little historical things that people love to overlook about stocks. I know where this is going. I know, and I'm not going to go too deep into this. Let's just say that everyone, you know, you go to all you go to all these places with these stocks, and you're like, oh get my picture taken in the stocks. Think about all of the terrible things that were happening to people who were trapped in this position. 24 hours a day. It happened. Oh, you're used to it. Oh. She's seen the show before. Huh? Yes. <laughs> you know what? I will tell you right now, being locked in a pair of rape shackles is still better than a 30 second conversation with you. Oh. I realize that, but it's just all right. Everybody's going to be alone. Ah. Here, I found this for you. I can't, I can't cross that line and make a bad noise. God forbid she's your ex-wife. Holy hell. Who's good with you? That's my thought. Next time you have a thought, keep it inside so maybe another one will come along and it doesn't die of loneliness. <laughs> oh, no. uh, the second thing you need to know about our show right. is that also a few weeks ago, we managed to finally get ourselves an official asterisk. Oh my god. Woo! Right. <laughs> we don't have to keep borrowing the one from the Washington Wench. But I'm still taking this. We can have a double asterisk today. <laughs> what that means, if you're not familiar with this yet, an asterisk denotes a show with adult content. We talk extensively about alcohol, and, and you've already heard Dr. John uh, use some 
colourful language at least once. I I actually dropped the worst language in this show. That's the best part. Right. Is you're the most responsible of us. Right. And you're the one with the foulest mouth. Yes. Yes. Right. The, the moral of the story is we deal with very mature humour in a very immature way. So if you're the easily offended, now is the time to go. Right. All right, you're staying. All right. Uh, also, Great. if you get easily offended, in the name of my child who now understands things, now is the time. Oh uh, yeah, and that was I got dear Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair leather a few years ago. Yes, I, I love them for, for telling a quote unquote dirty joke. It wasn't even dirty, and never mind. But. Well, tell them the joke. The tell yeah, tell joke. the joke. The letter was worse than the joke. Well, all right, real quick. I was a pirate. I know, hard to believe, but. Anyway, I hate it when I get caught in Lady Crossfire. <laughs> That's the best kind of crossfire. Now you think that until you're actually there in the menage and then <laughs> the two of them and you're left out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, then there are two women that are disappointed. Right. <laughs> and then, yeah. Better to have menaged and disappointed than to never yeah. have menaged at all. <laughs> no, no, and it's really great because the one is always like, wow, so many times I did that and I'm like, it wasn't me. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, it was uh, I was a pirate, and uh, I know it's hard to believe, in another life I was a pirate, and I thought of this, and it was great, and uh, there I was, and so there we were at sea, and uh, you know, we'd been at sea for a while, and uh, all of a sudden, there was this uh, humpback whale, and uh, you know, uh, apparently it was a female, looking real good, because this male humpback whale showed up, and he's like, oh man, I've got to get me some of that. So he, you know, he goes and he shows her his hump. And then she turns and she shows him her hump. And he's kind of disappointed. I could see the look in his eye. Because her hump, apparently, in Humpback Whale World, was amazing. So he decided he'll spout it. So he spouts a really nice spout. You know, what do I know? It looked great. Then she spouts. And look at that. She's got two tears. What an amazing thing. That was amazing. It was like blowing smoke ring. So, he's trying to figure out a way to impress her because now she's topped in twice. He looks at our ship and he sees us. And he turns. And he starts swimming right for us. Pell-mell. We're like, oh no! Quick! Hit the deck! We all get down except Clive. Clive does not hit the deck. He goes right over the deck, grabs Clive, right into the sea. He swims back round, thinking that she'll be impressed, but she's not. She swims away, saying, muttering, I'll hump and I'll blow, but I'll refuse to swallow semen. <laughs> I want you all to guess what phrase in there the letter was about. Oh. No! <laughs> no! Semen! Right. And yes. the guy had a name! I named him! So it wasn't even I, like it could be confused. <laughs> to be fair, thing, you know? to be fair, I name all of mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, and Monty Python has a song. <laughs> Thank you for the one. Yeah, yeah, singing it, right? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, don't karaoke to that one, by the way. <laughs> Just as a note. See, and you, this was your year of letters. I, oh, I, yeah. I've received so many letters from this place. I've just got like a wall, <laughs> like the big book of things I've done wrong in this place. There was a year where every meeting started off with, and Doctor John. Yeah, I know. I won't do it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. My bad. I don't think I've ever met someone who's been fired from this place as many times as you I mean, and still manages to work here. I was only fired once. <laughs> Which is more back, times than anyone else and, I know who's And brought fired. back a week later. I'm like right. the Andy Samberg of this place. <laughs> <laughs> what was Andy Samberg fired he, he's the He has the distinction of being the only member of Saturday Night Live ever to be let go and then brought back. I had no idea. Aye, that is literal useless trivia for you today. 
There you go. The more you know, you've learned something. Congratulations. Go win Jeopardy somewhere. Wait. The useless and trivia are synonyms. I, I know. All right. It's like chai tea. It's like or tea shrimp tea. scampi. Yeah, tea, they mean tea. the same thing. Right. Yeah. Yes, exactly. sit down. Bring your sippy cup. All right. So these are still. Can we start over again? May, I have may this I joke that I told. <laughs> these are my favorite things in the world. <laughs> Nothing says chronologically I'm old enough to drink, but mentally I'm still a toddler. <laughs> Quite like a sippy cup full of liquor. <laughs> what are you drinking? That's not good. Rum punch. <laughs> what? Rum punch? Rum punch. All right. Rum I, punch. Ow! <laughs> That's his There's not on. even a Volkswagen around here. <laughs> <laughs> like I've randomly punched in the arm. It happens. Relax. There's got to be. I one find it very hard to somewhere. relax around Volkswagens. <laughs> they make me very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, pray tell. Yes. Well, uh, I consider German to be the devil's language. They are the people's car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the people's car made by a guy who really likes disliking my people. Touche, sir. Yeah. Touche. <laughs> he went, hmm, I'm going to make a people's car that's really small and then incinerate an entire group of people. Wow. Well, it got dark fast. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you're usually the one provides the. No, it, 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 this this two you're like times. The eclipse two here. times today. The show has gone really dark, and I'm not the one that took it there. I, know, I, I feel like I'm watching my two little ones grow up. <laughs> I feel like a proud papa right now. Like you went really dark with the whole body casting earlier. Yeah, I, I talked to body <laughs> cast. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, I, I told them the story of when I, when I hugged a lady who was uh, in traction. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah, you well, put that on your bucket my list. <laughs> my own personal Hades. <laughs> That's where I am right now. You're all my pals. <laughs> oh, you're like Tom Jones. Wow, well, you're Frank Sinatra, but heavy on the sin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like what? Frank Sinatra and Fat Elvis had a horrible child. <laughs> like, I'm the horrible genetic crossbreeding of that. Like, all of the bad genes went into making this up. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to go to the toilet right now. No, it's a draft! Peanut butter and banana sandwich. <laughs> and a martini. <laughs> maybe maybe we should get the audience involved, what you say. We, and we can do that. We, yeah, sure. Yeah, show them that... That we actually have something here to yeah, do? Yeah, that we have good stuff. I mean, we, we just yeah. need to set their expectations, right? Oh, right. we've already set them, and they're damn low. <laughs> <laughs> the bar is here, man. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is something that you can all do. Uh, I'll leave you a little bit of a, a thought experiment. Let's call it a sobriety test. Mm, it's a test of how well you all can follow directions. All right. So, uh, what I want you to do is I want you to take your hand and put it in front of you like this. Do Don't not put it in front of your face. I will slap your hand into your face. I've done it several times so far this year. So have it right here. All right. And what I want you to do is I want you to number your fingers from one to five consecutively. It doesn't matter if your thumb is number one or your pinky is number one. That matters not. But number them one through five consecutively. Everyone done that? All right, excellent. So now what I want you to do is I want you to put on an imaginary invisible ring onto one of your fingers. Any finger, just put it on. Don't let him know. But don't show him. Yeah, do not let him know. So change it now in your mind or change it back and really mess with him. <laughs> All right, everyone doing this? Great, I guarantee this is a good time. Uh, so now, uh, you then. Me? No, him. <laughs> Give me a number between one and 20. Three. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So now we are going to move the ring around. But only you can only move it to adjacent fingers. So when it gets to the pinky, it doesn't loop back around to the thumb. This All right, but if it's cool on the middle finger, it can go this way or that way. You are going to move it three times, because that's the number that gentleman gave us. So move that ring three times. 
to three. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, I, whatever. Just move it three times. Do it right now. I'm gonna turn around so I can't see it. Usually he asks that question and people are like 17. Right. Right. And then we watch the entire audience going, shoot. <laughs> All right, everyone done it? So, All right. No, what are you waiting for? It's only three. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sobriety test. It is. All right. So now, whatever number finger it's on, because remember, we numbered your fingers earlier. Whatever number finger it's on, move it that many times. Everyone good? Yeah. All right, so now, if you follow directions. But it doesn't loop around. It does no, not loop no, around, no. so it can't it's loop not here to here. Or here to here. Right, so, uh, my intuition tells me that none of you have it on your thumb. So take your thumb out of the equation. All right? I also know that none of you have it on your pinky. So take your pinky out of the equation. Now, move the ring one more time. <laughs> and remove all the fingers that it is not on and say the magic words. Please. The magic word is please. <laughs> the, the best part is the very first time we did it, the entire audience screamed with this man scream. <laughs> In Which is unison. good because then we didn't say it. We can all get in trouble. Right. We didn't say it. The 80 people in the audience said it. <laughs> and it was great. It was very cathartic because you haven't you want to say that to someone and you, but you got to hold it in. No, I'm Here, sure that most of these people. Let it out. I'm sure that most of these people want to say it to us. Oh no. I know I do. I do every day. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm gonna kick you in the ball so hard later. Oh please, at this point I'm not just right there. Right there, buddy. <laughs> no, no, there's nothing there for me to kick Seriously. In the He's going through a divorce. It's all right. They're gone, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I believe hung like a freckle, is that what you say? <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, it's alright. I didn't want to interrupt what you were doing, go ahead. We're talking about going after Haglers. And Kinks. Going after Haglers and Kinks? Yeah, we're here for the show. Oh, 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 all right. <laughs> oh, we have that permission to go. Thank, thank you, all right. thank you so go. much. It means so much to me to do that. I have your permission to do a show now. Makes me feel better. No, apparently we're doing all right. They said keep going. <laughs> all right, well, we've already had them flip us off. We may as well let them know who they just flipped. All right, good luck, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, I know. I am choking to death. <laughs> I am Dr. Oh, John Sheldon, former okay. tutor to His Majesty King Henry VIII, and the current poet laureate of Oxford University. You may applaud. I do not care. Oh, do <laughs> and I am Leonardo da Vinci, uh, artist, athlete, inventor, and advisor to King Francois I of France. <laughs> Grazie. English hurts my mouth. And in this corner, wearing the black pants, weighing in at a few more pounds than he probably should, the man who puts the con in conjurer, the sham in shaman, and the ass in astrologer, Nicodemus Stone! So underwhelming. <laughs> yeah. 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 I like the, the entire time you were introducing yourself yeah. as being in the black pants and weighing a few more pounds than you should. He was raising his hand. He was like he's introducing. I'm in the show. Look, it's my own study. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Cousin Dave. Cousin Dave, hello, Cousin, cousin Dave. Dave. Cousin Dave. It's kind of like Cousin Ed, but he shaved his head. <laughs> is that your girlfriend or wife? Oh, yeah. Significant other? Switch. Switch. 
I, you're a wench. I love you. Oh, so she eats for a living. That's good. <laughs> no, that's what wench means. Wench has nothing to that's, do with selling your body. That's right. It's just a woman who has her own profession is a wench. <laughs> right. So, I mean, you could sell your body and be a wench. <laughs> right. You're that's right. a wench's profession. You are self-employed at that point. Right. <laughs> it's, it's like how all poodles are dogs, but not all dogs are poodles. That, that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> there are any poodles here? Oh. <laughs> are there I'm any sure dogs? Are, our, our shows are always better when there's a dog in the audience for Dr. Dog to get distracted on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because last week there was one, there was a dog here that looked like Cousin It had sex with a potato. <laughs> and, and I had to hold it up and just have that moment like, behold, this is a descendant of the mighty wolf. <laughs> because they all are, all dogs are descendant of the gray wolf. And so you're holding this tiny little fuzzy potato that's happy to be wherever it is, whatever's going on. Oh my God, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened. You're holding me upside down by my back legs. I'm so happy right now. It also looked like a toupee. It really did, or a merkin. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> don't sing proud to be a merkin. They don't like that. Right? <laughs> I found that out last year. I was going for the comedy. Now, for those who are wondering what, what we are about. That, that, that was it. It was the merkin that did it. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, that dog who had genitals. All right. No, no, I have an idea. Uh, all right, I have to tell you this one because it's worth it. <laughs> this is a true story. This is a true story, and it's not that long. I'm just gonna. A friend of mine I'm settle in for this. A friend of mine didn't take a merkin, but remember back in the day, um, there were those um, uh, ponytail holders that were hair, no. and they would make make longer hair or whatever. Yeah. Okay. She said, "You go down to the beach, and I'm going to be down to the beach in a little while, maybe ten minutes or so." And you just watch what happens. This was the days before mobile phone, or I would have video evidence of this. <laughs> she put it in the front of her bikini. <laughs> and with a bucket, went down to the edge of the water, and she's looking for shells and everything. And you should have seen all the people elbowing each other, going, oh, look at that lady, because it was like, you know. It was phenomenal. <laughs> so what you're basically saying is she went down with like the ZZ Top of Muffs hanging up. Yeah. And, and she's walking down the beach. Just like nothing's happened. And it was fantastic. Oh my I highly God. recommend that if you have the guts and courage to do that, you should do that. Because now you can film it. No, no. You will not regret it because the I swear to God, I'm doing it now. Wow. I'm gonna get one of those like Borat banana hammocks <laughs> and just cram a wig into it and walk around the beach. <laughs> Close your eyes and picture it, people. <laughs> Let's be honest, you, you all can see my chest. I don't need a wig to do that. I just need the banana hammock. <laughs> Yeah, they right. <laughs> we introduced ourselves. We should tell them our mission statement at least. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't. I That's can't right. Now. We have a mission statement. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All yeah. good corporations do. <laughs> That's right. But we are not a corporation. We are a public service. That's right. We get a government grant. <laughs> That's right. Because we here at the Men of Confidence have one goal and one goal alone: to provide you with valuable knowledge to help you survive in the dark, scary, depressing world that we live in. But. Knowledge comes at a cost. Aye, a price. Sometimes the price of knowledge is a moment of embarrassment. A student loan. Exactly. <laughs> what? A student loan. Aye. Yes. <laughs> you lend us some of your dignity, we teach you some street smarts. Yes, because the first thing we did when we signed our contracts with this place was give them all the dignity we had left. <laughs> there you go, just take it. You, you know how some people like to talk about dreams that they, Like, you know those people that just come up to you and tell you about the dream they had last night and you never ask? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> People do that here all the time, and I tell them flat out, I haven't had a dream since I started working here. <laughs> <laughs> and he's pricked his way up. <laughs> all of my dreams are waking dreams, and all of them involve me running very far away. <laughs> They've got the shock collar on me the minute I hit 72. <laughs> <laughs> I like to picture just more one of those 
Those corners from the wild, wild west, where once you get out of the perimeter, it just sends a saw blade at your neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, all I want to do is eat at the divine swine, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Crumbled on the ground on the side of 72, crying, drooling on myself. Exactly. Ain't no delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but I think now we've given them a mission statement, we've shown them a little trick. We should show them the basics. Right, of what so let's do. show them something that any man of confidence would know how to do. What do you say is the, the three wise men? Yeah, let's do the tale of the All three right. wise men. Alright, right. I'm going to need a volunteer for this. Just to sit the, Somebody volunteer or something, I swear to God, I'll volunteer you. <laughs> I like how she's raising your yeah, hand yeah, for you. So I won't take she it. started with the, you know, you know what happens when you volunteer someone else? You're really volunteering yourself. What is your name, my dear? Celine. Celine? Yes. Like, all right, I don't like even porcelain. have it. Like porcelain. Like porcelain. Oh. <laughs> so you, so you like the abbreviated version of Celine. Now, Celine, have you ever been a bartender? No. Have you ever wanted to be a bartender? Listen, Celine, don't. Don't ever do it. It is a sad, lonely existence full of other people's problems and substance abuse. You do not want to go down that route. Trust me. Exactly. It's a council. Now imagine, are you drinking out there? Now imagine having to counsel those three while they're drinking. And you're not allowed to drink. She's the driver. Yeah, that's why It's a little thing we like to call hell. All right, so you're going to play the role of our bartender for this. It will help. It will help. Okay. All right, stand right here. Stand Your right voluntary here. embarrassment will, will educate these people and they will never forget you for this. Yes, Celine. So you're doing a good public service. Celine, it's, it, your name sounds like Celine, but people just got lazy at the end. Celine, whatever. <laughs> or almost like the French way. Celine, 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 Celine die on. Celine, Dion, you know. All right, are you ready, Celine? Celine, Celine. Celine. whatever. Whatever. Wait, listen. Wait, wait. I had a thought. I'm so sorry. I got to share this. It popped into my head. I'm so sorry. I just realized that. No, 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 no. no. It's quick. Okay. I just realized that. That. That if you look at Barry Manilow now, you'll see what Celine Dion will look like in 30 years. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not wrong. You may be mad at me, but I'm not wrong. All right. All right. Let's go, Selin. Let's do this, Selin. Three wise men walk into a bar and beg for a beer. The bartender says, you'll find no service here. A game they propose. A guessing game of sorts. The players, the bartender, and these cohorts. Enough coin for a round are placed into a tin. Then two more identical, yet empty, join in. A mixing occurs to randomize them. And this is where the game truly begins. Point to the one you believe the coins to be in. I know. <laughs> Welcome to the ADD show. The ADD wait, show. Wait, the ADD we're like twins for that, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, there's a squirrel. I got the... <laughs> Oh my god. What's the difference between a parade and people walking in a row? <laughs> yeah. We gotta wait. Oh look, they've invited the very hungry caterpillar. <laughs> Delightful, all my childhood dreams are realized. Whoa. <laughs> you pointed at something, but I don't know what. That dude looks like a lady. <laughs> That's why I, I didn't get my part when I auditioned for Aerosmith. Yes. So Even Steven Tyler, Steven Tyler was like, that guy looks rough. Yes. <laughs> Selena, are you with us here? I'm here. Can, yeah. you, can you stay with us now? Is, do, you, do, you have, do, you have, do we have your attention? Do, yes. do we have the Beijing's attention is the, the question, <laughs> because it's his line now. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you for that. Because I don't want to make you look bad. Because you, you may not know this, but if an actor forgets their lines, it's usually the next actor who's supposed to speak that everybody thinks made the mistake, but that's not true. So, out of courtesy to you, uh, I'm going to say my line now, like I'm supposed to. <laughs> so, the boxes were mixed up perplexingly. And the bartender was asked to guess again. What's the one you think it's in? 
We no. shaved it right when you get wrong the last time. Listen, I don't know what kind of shaving show you were expecting here, lady. <laughs> Big one! <laughs> Just the one. Can I shake that? No! <laughs> no. You've never played three card monster, have you? <laughs> Can I see the queen before I guess which one's the queen? <laughs> there we go. Are you sure? Good, because you're wrong. Oh, yes. She <laughs> guessed the one in the middle. It's always the one in the middle. Wait, you did, but you changed your mind. <laughs> <laughs> so now the odds in the bartender's favor will be skewed, as the empty one will be removed. Shave that, make sure it's really empty, because I know you don't trust me right now. And it over here. So now, a 50-50 chance did exist. Okay. Remember, it's that one. Yeah, now you showed me. <laughs> <laughs> and the bartender's luck? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Give it a shake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god. This is the first time I'm doing this all year, but this whole thing went to shit so long. <laughs> <laughs> and so the wise men drank well that night. But was not by chance, but by their own wits, mate. You see, the poor bartender, Celine, never stood a chance, for this was a game of fixed circumstance. For none of the cans uh, contained the key to victory. It was all a result of the wise man's trickery. <laughs> <laughs> and the moral of the story is this, my friends. When you play a game of confidence, the like con man always wins. Let's hit it with the All right. Go to help the people that Selin has to counsel. <laughs> oh, wow. That was... <laughs> Wow. Ten minutes? Thank you. All right. Well, we've done exactly <laughs> one of our tricks. We have exactly exactly No, we did two. We did the middle finger. <laughs> Wait, we have two minutes? Yeah. No, Ten. we did two tricks. <laughs> All we right. did two tricks. Two tricks in, in 35 minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and I... Know us. But wait, I told the joke. Doesn't that count? No. Because they can tell that joke at No, the actually end. it does count because you actually told a joke that people laughed at. And you know what? As a reward for that, you get to do a trick. Get two volunteers for yourself. <laughs> All right, I need... It's his birthday. I need... I need... All right, let's... I'll put it out there simply. Who would like to learn... Who would like the chance to win a beer? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, now all of a sudden we're all in with this. Mine's a beer. Wait, wait, they're all men. Yeah, yes. <laughs> men drink beer. No, 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 no. Drink beer. No, no, no. Women get free beers and the men have to pay for them. I get it. All right. <laughs> All right. So, go ahead. Read All your... right. Stop the offense. Who'd like to chance to win a free beer? You there. Come forward. What is your name? Yeah. Joe. Come right. forward. <laughs> one more. We need one more. I'm going to choose Wait, a lady. Go, yeah, first, no, so. there. You there. What is your name? <laughs> Megan. Megan. Terrible name. Get up here. <laughs> Oh yes, I finally got the IPA glass. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't pick it. All right. No, oh, you're a redhead too. Oh my God. That's how we know you're crazy. <laughs> so she's already thinking about love knifing someone. <laughs> All right. So what uh, we are going to do right here is a little bit of a, of a race. Hi. <laughs> so the way this race is played is all of you will be racing to try to be the first person to get all the liquid from your bottle into your cup. But just like anything, there are rules, all right? So all of the liquid has to travel from the bottle to the cup, but it can only travel through the straw, both ways. So in the straw, out the straw, so you can't suck it up into your mouth and spit it into the cup, all right? So it has to travel through the straw and the straw alone. All right, now are both of you 21? Yes, you have your little staff to prove it. Let me see. I'm 14. You're 14? Yes. <laughs> I, I like the beard. <laughs> I'm going to go so far as this. If either of you beat Da Vinci, 
I would buy that person a beer out of my own pocket. Mine. Well done, mine. Look, this isn't me telling you I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lie. All right, so from the bottle to the cup, traveling only through the straw, the bottle has to stay fixed on the table. You can touch the cup, you can touch the straw, you can touch the bottle, but you cannot move the bottle. All right? So do these rules make sense? Right. All right. And did you say about they, they can't suck it in and then spit it out? Yeah, I did. Yes. It has to travel through to the straw sure both, both ways. ways. That's through the straw both ways. Always try to do that and then accuse us of cheating. It's like, wait a minute. The final rule is that don't rage flip the table when you lose. <laughs> <laughs> we had someone do it. It took a lot of cleanup. Glass everywhere. All right, so. Are the rules clear? Yeah. On the marks. Yeah. Get set. <laughs> I'm so ready. She is. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I, 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 know. I know. I feel Go! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> 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 what, what is your drink? Cider? Cider. Cider. cider? cider! Make it a cider! Make it a cider! Are, are you involved with her at all? Did you raise her? Congratulations! Unless you're not the real redhead. That, that was incredible. Really that, that was fantastic. That was never had someone do that before. That was the best thing. Here, now, you, you get to dump it Wait, 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 no, 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 no. We no. don't show them the other way to win. Like, this is... We have to show them? This is, if you're I not being... Know, I feel like they have to come back tomorrow. If you're not being a complete jackass. <laughs> <laughs> he said it today, not wait, me! Yeah. Enjoying a free cider, by the way. <laughs> Sticks and stones, but it's free sided. I have to know exactly when we lost control. I think it's when, when I we, set up the table right, before we were even turned on. Are you in control when you, when you moved those people out of the way? That was it. We lost control at about 10.45 this morning. <laughs> when that cannon went off. Now, what most people do then is something along those lines. Of basically Guess what, what you, you did. But the way you actually do it is you undo the bendy straw and then... Oh. Yeah, so you try that. <laughs> that's, that's the way the trick no. actually works. If you're not trying to be stuck. So that she knows how to do it, and then you're going to try it too. <laughs> so that she knows how to do it. No, wait, you got, to, you got to put a seal around there, like that. In the bottom of the seal. Yes, blow a seal. And the, yeah. You know, <laughs> all right? And then, Remember, it's like the old joke. Do you know what the difference between pink and purple is? Your grip. <laughs> <laughs> Confidence. 
Well, you can be a woman of confidence. We're not misogynists. Uh, um, is that it is a lot of brain power being creative thinkers. It's all about the wording. But when you lose, lose graciously and buy someone their beer. Right. <laughs> Do this to just anyone, Megan. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Did someone record that? Because that I would amazing. totally be involved with Pokemon or Redhead. Right <laughs> I'm just saying. I would right now. Mm. <laughs> uh, you know what? Hey, are the two of you together? That's her mom. That's your mom. Uh, what do you, what, how do you fit into this? Hello, Megan. <laughs> Right, right now, the dinosaurs call me sir. I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can, let's give credit where credit is due. Da Vinci is what the ancient aliens thought God was. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. No, she did, they named it wrong. She's a screamer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, oh, thank you. I was gonna. I was going to ask Megan out, but I'm afraid that if Megan yes, and I got If busy, I'm too old for her, you're screwed. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm I feel like I'm millennial. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if Megan and I were throwing down and, you know, having a great time, and I did something wrong, I could die. <laughs> you know, I, she's I like danger. <laughs> I could come and go at the same time. <laughs> Whatever you do, and whomever you do it with, do, do it, it with, with confidence! confidence. Thank you.